Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the efficiency of using this indicator on non-standard charts such as tick or range. Keep watching to find out about what the speed of tape shows, how to set up the indicator, distinguishing features of the indicator on standard charts, analysis of indicator readings on tick and range charts. The speed of tape indicator shows the speed at which trading activity occurs on the exchange. What kind of activity does the indicator measure? It depends on the calculation mode. There are five modes available in total, volume, ticks, buys, sells and delta. There is an auto filter in the settings. It is designed for the indicator to adjust itself to the chart on which it is added. The auto filter will be especially useful for beginners. If you turn it off, the filters can be configured manually. The indicator has a lot of visualization options. You can find detailed information about all settings in the knowledge base. Use the link in the description. If you add a volume and a speed indicator on a 15-minute chart, you will see that they almost coincide. It's obvious that if the time intervals are the same, the speed will be higher where the volume is higher. One might ask a question, why should I use the speed of tape indicator if it copies other indicators? The answer is try using the speed of tape indicator on time-independent frames. For example, tick or range. This is a tick chart of the British pound futures. The volume indicator has more even readings since both large and small transactions are fairly evenly distributed over all candles. So we will remove it from the chart. But the speed of tape indicator in the buys mode has clearly distinct spikes in activity. The high speed of buys helped determine the bottom of the market after a long fall. Buyers were actively involved in trading as they thought that the pound fell too low. The next day, the high speed of buys helped determine the end of the correction and the conclusion of the uptrend that lasted two days. The high speed of buys helped to define its upper climax. Example 2. Gold Futures Tick Chart. One candlestick equals 500 trades. The volumes are even again, they are not useful on this chart. Let's have a look at the peak values of the speed of tape indicator in the buys mode. The first peak is a local buying climax. The rate rose excessively high, so there was a correction. There were wide candles at the formation of the top, which indicates emotional intensity. The second peak is another price top. This time, the candles are narrow. The difference between the high and low is small. A slight progress in the price growth, despite the greater buying speed, suggests that there is a large limit seller in the market who meets the entire buying flow. The price reaches the ceiling and stops growing despite the efforts and pressure of buyers. This is a bearish sign. The third peak is a local minimum and a false bearish breakout. This time, the buyers were on the right side of the market. They became more active when the price dropped slightly below the previous local low. There must have been a lot of stop losses below that low. And those who put them there definitely felt pain when they saw that the price began to rise sharply. The fourth peak on the speed indicator is the high of the day. Note that the price is higher relative to the previous high, while the speed of buys indicator is lower. This is a divergence that indicates that the number of buyers willing to buy contracts at high prices has significantly decreased. The slowest speed of buys relative to peaks 1 and 2 was recorded at the third peak, which suggests that the market is overheated, and therefore, a downward reversal will occur. Now let's have a look at how the speed of tape indicator works on the range chart. This is a futures contract for the British pound again, but the volumes are not so even. See how the speed of tape indicator used in buys mode points very clearly at the top. Why didn't the price grow if a sharp spike in buys did occur? Perhaps the price reached the clusters of sellers stop losses at the top point. Of course, we don't see the clusters, but we can imagine that the stops were activated immediately. A large number of market buys entered the market at once, which is why we saw a spike in buys on the speed of tape indicator. And since the activation of seller's stops is not a real force capable of pushing the price to new highs, the price fell immediately after the spike in buys, which is a bearish sign. You probably have questions like, how to analyze the speed of tape in the sales mode? How does the indicator work for the cryptocurrency market? To answer these questions, let's have a look at a tick chart from the Binance Futures Exchange. One candle equals 50,000 trades. 
The speed of tape indicator, which shows the speed of sales, has been added to the chart. Let's have a look at some spikes on the indicator. The sellers suddenly became very active at midnight, which led to a price decrease in the next few hours. Then, two spikes in the speed of sales stopped the intraday uptrend. A bit later, a slight increase in the speed of sales pointed out a false bearish breakout of the previous low. The sellers fell into a trap, assuming that an intraday bearish trend had begun, but it was way too early. The day's high was updated soon after that, it was followed by a sharp increase in the speed of sales. The last example is the DAX index futures market, which is a range chart. The speed of tape has been added in delta mode. Let's have a look at the indicator readings day by day. The very first bar on the indicator is always high, this is its special characteristic since the indicator compares the current speed with zero. That's why it is better to move the first bar beyond the left edge of the chart so that the bars are more readable. A noticeable change in the speed of delta from bullish to bearish indicates the presence of resistance at this level. A price rollback confirms that there is supply in the market. Therefore, when the indicator has a sharp spike in sales at this level, there are reasons to open a short position. The next day, a spike in sales indicates a seller's effort to break through the support level. Later, it was possible to open short positions within the day from the test of this level. The next day, the indicator showed a sharp change in sentiment because the speed of delta changed from bearish to bullish. It stopped the price drop. The subsequent sharp spikes in the speed of buys indicate the presence of demand at this level, which can be used to open long positions. Hit the like button and make sure you subscribe if you like this video. Download Adas experiment by adding several speed of tape indicators in different modes to non-standard charts to see how useful they can be for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.